your boy 50 Cent. I'm here filling in for Russ Parr in the morning, and we get ready to go to Brit. Everything hot on the wire. Are we on the air? Let's take it from the top. Hot, 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 hot off the wire. Hot off the wire. Hot off the wire, baby. With my people's Brittany. Brittany. Hot off the wire is brought to you by Geico. What does it mean when Geico says just 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance? It means you probably should have went to Geico.com 15 minutes ago. Lauren Hill, her publicist denies that she's in more trouble with Uncle Sam. She said it's just media gossip and that Lauren does not want to go back to jail. I don't blame her. That was probably really bad for her. Chris Brown, he may be behind bars, but he just released the Loyal video. And it's really hot. It's got Usher in it. And 50 said, you're going to hook me up with Usher? Yeah, that, that was a cool That's a cool video, too. A nice yeah. one to put out <laughs> while you're in jail. Yeah, he because when right you're in jail, that. if you put um, out something really hot, right. we forget you in jail. Right. Yeah, and ah. you're going to hook me up with Usher? Okay. Trying to go, yeah, I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to make the call. Okay. <laughs> Chris's ex, Rihanna, recently got a fashion icon award, and she was seen in London partying with her boo, Drake. But the big question is, whose side is she going to take? Because she works for Jay-Z, Drake's her boo, and Jay-Z just called Drizzy Mrs. Drizzy because Drake kind of came at him. He was like, I'm tired of rappers making art references. I think it's kind of corny. So Jay-Z responded with this. Sorry, Mrs. Drizzy, put so much up talk. Silly me rapping about that I really bought. Why these rappers rap about guns? They ain't shot. And a bunch of other silly that they ain't got. Who won? Yeah. Uh, Who won? I, I think it's just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we didn't actually hear any, any verses or rap from actually Drake. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I think I, it's interesting. Like, I mean, I think you're supposed to rap about things that are in your actual life. Yeah. Right? But that those are laws that that were a part of our culture when I actually came in when I fell in love with it. Right. But it's old school. Yeah, but, <laughs> but at the same so, time. It is old school. So, look. look the kids don't actually care because they accepted things in front of mm-hmm. me that I know that they know wasn't right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, when you actually was like bobbing and you was like, like, like um, look, he was just saying, for me, you know, I got it. Right. So was, was, was he actually, did he have dope? But did he, does he got it? <laughs> <laughs> what does he got? The Picasso? So are you encouraging Drake to respond? No, nah, I'm, well, I think I would respond to it. I mean, it, I don't know. It's just, it depends. Sometimes it has to be, the right timing mm-hmm. surrounding the response. Like, if, if other people say things, I, I just look at them. So who would like, win if it just got flat out ugly, I mean, it, line he for went line. to call it Miss, Miss Drizzy. Mrs. Drizzy. Mrs. Drizzy. Yeah. And then you got to see, like, what, the, what kind of lines would come out relationship-wise. Mm. Oh, we'll see. So basically, just, he was just testing. No, it might testing. actually create a separation here, people, where the, the, there's the team Riri. Uh-oh. And Drake mm, on one side that. and Jay and, and B on the nah, other side. Nah. Let's make, let's make it interesting now. Rihanna better let's not go it, away from Jay-Z. Make, you know, the battle of, look, hey, you with me or you with them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in the house like this. Look, so you're going to be right here with me and let 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 this old man say this about me and you ain't rolling with me, girl? <laughs> you got a fashion icon award. <laughs> You mean to tell me you scared of B? You going in now. You going in now. Wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me, wait, <laughs> wait. You mean to tell me you scared of B? <laughs> Why? Because she's drunk in love. <laughs> you got to tell me what's going on. In other news, Scandal's Columbus Short, you know, he plays Harrison on right. Scandal. Mm-hmm. He just went to jail because he got in a bar fight. Wow. But this might be okay. Hey, no, this he is said, a trend. This is a new trend. Yeah. This is in style now, like tattoos. Well, this... <laughs> tattoos no. in your face. You go to jail, no problem. No, so, but so 50, you, I'm you okay got, with this. I'm going to jail next week. You got to do something, right? That's free promotion. Now, I got to do something big, like homicide. Oh, whoa, <laughs> nah, don't whoa. go that please, please nah, don't. Nah, you heard what Jay said about, about you saying that in your rap and you won't be doing it? I got to do it next week. Please, please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Do we we week, can't man. afford to bail you out for you to host the show again. I got the bail money. Okay. I got the bail money in the stash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he, even, he, was, he got in the bar fight. Apparently, this guy said, you might be richer than me, but I got more girls to buy me things, including your wife. So wow. I think that's fighting words. Including his wife? Yeah. He and said, he I got more girls wife? to buy me wow. stuff, including your wife. He should have had a homicide. <laughs> For that one, if it was real, if he really knew his wife, yeah. and she did that, he should. I got so many more stories coming up next hour, and maybe 50 will let me ask him some questions next time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Britt, sure. and that's your hot off the wire. We make sure we get all the questions. Y'all can tweet in, you know, it's the Russ, it's the money show, the Russ morning show. <laughs> and it's the Russ morning show if you're talking to Russ, and it's the Russ morning show if you're trying to get 
to us. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> but check this out. This is my new joint right here. It's called Don't Worry About It. You uh, can't me anyway. Uh, my ties in the hood is so serious. Oh, my God. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm on the show. It's your boy, 50 Cent. We killing him. Coming out of that quick silver mix. Quick, quick. quick, quick. Good job, quick. That shit, that was that flavor right there. Made me feel like I was listening to somebody else that I really like. <laughs> <laughs> like yourself, right? Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, 50, we know. We, I think you'd be uh, an expert on this. We're just going to ask you what's gangster, what's not. We got some tweets about it. I just need to ask you about these trends. So, okay. grills, are they still hot? In certain southern markets. Really? Okay. And a lot of places, they, they still feel like it's, it's, it's I mean, a now, signature. like... Madonna was on the red carpet with how to grill in, you know, yeah, Katy Perry. Yeah, it's changing. It's pop now. It's pop. <laughs> it's, it's, so, so it's not gangster no more? No, I think everyone's, people do things for shock value and it's mm-hmm. different. Now those, look, the front slip on and off. At one point, it wasn't cool for them to slip on and off. Right. right. Yeah. They had to, to, to weld the teeth down right, and right. put them on like veneers. Right. You know what right. I mean? So it's interesting how it's shifting. All right, face tattoos, gangster or not? I, I never, I will never agree with that. Okay. I don't think it's gangsta at all. I think you should already have life in the penitentiary before you start <laughs> tattooing on your face. <laughs> <laughs> or, or be like a real heavy metal artist. Yeah. Like, look. With no parole. <laughs> no parole. No ever, <laughs> nothing <laughs> in your life that no you will ever plans. need a job. <laughs> no escape plans. <laughs> oh, man. Straight up. Like, Please listen to 50 right now. <laughs> listen, look. Tattoo culture's a bit, always been a part of hip-hop culture. Mm-hmm. It hasn't been as excessive as it is now. See, now, like, you got to think, when I came in in, in in 03, my back piece was the only back piece in the culture you can make note of outside of Boomer mm-hmm. on DMX back. The mm-hmm. dog face. Right, mm-hmm. right. So it's grown so much since then that, like, when I see him tattoo every inch and, like, every all every, over your body, it's like... Uh, see, I didn't want to turn into a comic book. <laughs> right, I didn't want to look like a comic right. book. Would you date a lady with a bunch of yeah, tattoos? Yeah, girl tattoos. I like, I like, or not? Listen, I like the tattoos. That's, it's lie. sexy. Yes, it's it sexy. Is. Visible? It, when it's done the right way. Like right, you, right if way. If it's done with good uh, art. Right. But if you look like you, you got them in the jailhouse. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the jailhouse basement, tattoo. Like, if she, basement tattoos are bad. Right. If she look like she got her tattoo in the jailhouse. <laughs> not a good look. Okay. Yeah, you know this could get rough. It could get interesting. <laughs> Gangster or not? Socks or sandals? Ooh. Socks or sandals? Or like I don't, need, look, I don't wear, wear sandals. To be honest with you, I don't wear them. Oh but God. you know what? I wear the, the Nike that you can step on the back. Yeah. Uh, the um, what's the name? But they, cause they got a whole Nike front in the right, front. Right. Now, it's what? like a slide. You just slide them on. Yeah, I do my feet, but I don't actually put them out for everybody to see. <laughs> so you wear socks uh, with okay, it. Okay, so yeah. not the thong flip. But like if you got like the warrior sandals with, <laughs> with high top socks. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. That ain't oh, working. come on, man. Black <laughs> socks. Doing? That ain't gangster. Gangster not rappers that sing. Rappers that sing. I think I might be guilty of what yeah, why you, that started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were singing a little. <laughs> you know, with a P.I.M.P. And, but no, but I put it the right way. I put the right content. Now mm-hmm. it's different. They're actually trying to hit a note. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you're hitting a portion of your record they that taking, doesn't have a word. They're taking singing lessons. Yes. Are you to blame for this one? Skinny jeans on men. No, I'm not a part of that. <laughs> not a part of that at all. Or actually, leggings. Huh? Or leggings. No, this is see, this is stuff that happened after they said what I said was cool wasn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> when they started to go on to the other side, they accepted spandex and 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 tight jeans. Oh you wow! Know. But you can't bend over. How, how about you gonna they sack their pants with tight jeans? Now you yeah, can't even run. Yeah. What's up? You can't even right. chase you. How you gonna hop a gate? You can't do nothing. Mm, right. One more break, baby. So you know when you're in a relationship with a girl yeah. and you accidentally go on a break and get another girl pregnant. See, that was out of your turmoil. <laughs> Emotionally, you were so into that girl. Is that gangster or not? That, that is, listen. <laughs> listen, I'd like to say gangster's good. Ooh. Gangster's good. You know, so when I say that's gangster right there, I mean, that's, that's popping. That's hot right okay, there. Okay. So, so that really ain't, that's not baby. gangster, but I do understand how <laughs> yeah. you can get in that situation. Okay. Thank you so much for educating the people oh, wow. on what is gangster and what's not. Super Kids coming up next for sports. It's your boy 50 Cent. What's up? It's the Kid 50 Cent filling in for us, Paul. I'm on the yeah. show. It's going down right here. Early in the morning, that joint right there was pilot off my I like project. that. And I like vicious. strong. Love that joint gets the vicious. <laughs> oh, man. I'm come oh. With it. You know, like for me, the entire project, the concept that I developed to to write the song right. was prosperity. Okay. You know, so I, I tried to use all the effects and everything that 
would, would actually come from the environment that I grew up in. So, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you do too good too fast in front of people, and then you got to... You got to hold up. Hold on. You got to watch. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what? You like to say to Kid 50 Cent, now you with a new family on the music side of level. Right. Do you feel like a kid again? Like you like you know, like you back having fun again? I because like I hit the restart button. Seemed like at the, mm-hmm. at the end, you know, on the other side, even with your man M, it just didn't seem like you was having fun anymore, you know? Yeah. You know what it is? Like, it's, it's never M, though. I always associate that energy with, with the rest of the people in the building. Right. Because, like, he'll, be, he'll miss that part. And mm-hmm. I'll be in Detroit like, yo. You know what's going on with this, this, and that? He was like, what? Like, he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> really? Are you serious? Right. Like, you know what I mean? And then he'll, he'll go fix it. Right, right, right. You know, like, that's why I was able to, to break and, and get out of the actual deal without releasing the record. Right. Okay, and then I could right. rewrite, revamp, do everything that I wanted to put, present to the public. So right. It was, it's really cool. I love, I love him, man. Like, I think he means a lot more to our culture than they give him credit for. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they'll point to the sales when, when it's actually happening, like, it's because he white. Right, right. And it's because he white, but we wouldn't have the ability for it to spread as far and as fast as it actually spread. But if it right. was that easy, it 50 white. would drop 10 white rappers if yeah. it was that and then, simple. And then, exactly. And saying that, saying it's because he's white, it's, it's because he's passionate. Right. You know, like, I think the only thing that separates us is passion. Like, right. as people mm-hmm. in general, like, if they put Einstein through a CAT scan and another guy that was the same age and... Wait, they would say that they're the same. But, you know, his passion for science made him who he is. I think Kobe Bryant's passion for basketball made right. him who he is. So so what so what what is success on this project for you? I mean, you've been everywhere. You you've oh. done it all. You had sales, you had the hottest tracks. What is success it's for just you? It's reconnecting. Here? It's reconnecting and ha- reigniting what I I started with Get Rich or Die Trying. Like to have that thing with consistency. So do you feel that there has been a disconnect? Well, yeah, because I have been doing what the system mm. says is the right thing to do instead right, of right. what 50 Cent was. But when did you slide into that? Because 50 came out, the man with the vest, I mean, the yeah, arms out, right, the tats, right. what's mm-hmm. up? I mean, 100, you know. You know what you do is because you start doing so well when you actually start to become conscious of different areas, like you're looking at the business at different points, it'll go, the vest will come off. And you continue with success in this longer period of time without you feeling the same threat level. Hmm. So you start to remove the security people from everywhere, mm-hmm. like oh, man. all those extra people. And then right. you go, it, it just it shifts. Like, And then you start wanting to do different things as an artist. Creatively, you want to play in different areas because I, you had that kind of hit before. Wow. So you start doing different things. And then you start to see yourself on TV, like with, with the the last joint with me M, and Adam Levine. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Where yeah. it feels like I'm featured on the song instead of it being yeah, a song, song that I created for myself. 15. More with 50 Cent coming up right after this. Hot Off The Wire is brought to you by WeFixMoney.com. Our nationwide network of lenders can get you $1,000 fast. Don't wait. Get the cash you need from WeFixMoney.com. That's WeFixMoney.com. So Scott Storch, he did an interview recently, and he decided to talk about, you know, 50 Cent leaving a major label. He says that he thinks at some point that you could be the owner of the next Interscope Records. Is that in your future? Well, yeah, I'm going to focus on bringing in new talent. And developing right now, I have to develop the system, so I have to bring the right people. But I look, I know the people that they've been hiring the whole time, the indies and everything that's there. Mm-hmm. I've been so aware of what's going on that it's going to be a comfortable transition for me, and it will be. I'll be able to compete year ending if we start looking at the numbers following next year. This yep. year. I get it established. Now, we saw a story the other day. You, I don't know if somebody took your words out of context or, you uh-huh. know, just give you the chance to explain it. Somebody said that you said Interscope was coming Beats by Dre Records. Did you say that? Well, yeah. Well, it, it, it's actually, when you see every single video that comes out have a product placement from Beats, and then the only thing that I get from the actual video department is they don't want to lose their job, so they don't want mm-hmm. my, me to put my headsets in it. Oh. So then they start to say they focus more on the actual mm-hmm. headset sales than the actual record. Okay. Is it true they were yeah. blurring your SMS? Well, they blurred the hat. Oh, okay. When they actually sent the video back. See, they'll, they'll, I don't want them to feel like it was a full-on attack because mm-hmm. they did do what I asked of them in the release. 
but you can't wear your own hat to support your own product in yeah, your own I can, video. I can because I'm not on Interscope. Uh, <laughs> see those other guys you will see that placement in the actual videos like dude, I think it was just a remix for Rico Love thing mm-hmm. had a big headset placement in it yeah you know? so you did an um, interview with Complex and you said how your new album it kind of talks about the positive and negative aspects of success and prosperity what are the negative aspects of success well you know like I grew up in an environment where the price of life is cheap so progressing too fast will bring some interesting energy around you that jealousy oh, and envy connected to it uh-huh. and then when you win sometimes you can't actually see a person's entitlement growing mm-hmm. you know so later you'll see that people expect you to work for them hmm. instead of actually work themselves like you know so when you see artists that were around not around mm-hmm. it's because they're not working to actually sustain their position within the culture we're going to keep going with 50. I'm Britain. That's your hot off the wire. I know I missed a lot of stuff. Make sure you go get more stories at the RustParMorningShow.com. And you can tweet me at 2 Pretty Britty and at Russ Par Show. It's the Russ Par Morning Show. That's right. We up right now. It's your boy 50 Cent. And we getting it going in here. You know this is the best morning show right here because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that for sure. We got any calls? 1877 Par Show. You want to talk to 50? Call on up, man. First, we got to tweet. Lots of tweets on this, actually. Best way a girl can approach you? Just come. Just come say what you want to say. <laughs> just, or, just say it. Just or be where? like, hey. Just come right out with it. <laughs> and, you know, it's usually because, like, if you notice me, like, or people that I've, I've actually dated or you can make reference to around me, mm-hmm. none of them match. Really? It's random. It's just the timing. So you don't it. have a type? Nope, not really. Yeah, I like uh, it. Might have something to do with me looking at adult entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Vivica for wearing that dress. At Drew's oh, Cartel. See, yeah, I just say it, so I. Expect <laughs> to just say it. So if, if it works for you, it'll work for them. Hey, it worked that time. Another tweet at Drew's Cartel says, "When are you and Lloyd Banks doing another hit together?" Well, I mean, I guess when he writes something, oh. <laughs> wow. it comes together. Because I, I, um, like, like everything that you see is is. You can see what's actually going on. Mm-hmm. Like, like you got the the guys are kind of like waiting for me to do it mm-hmm. instead of them just doing, it, you know, going off and doing it themselves. And it's not, not as, only is it not my responsibility to do it, it's not the record company's responsibility to do it. Like, right. we live in a climate where the artist is building their own fan base mm-hmm. online and, and their own social network. And if you look at those things, these guys haven't done anything. Like, look how many followers they have online. Being three-time platinum recording artists and right. you know they're just not even they don't even utilize the social networking 1877 pause show we got somebody on the phone you got a question for 50 hello yeah, hello 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 oh, they got new phone they got <laughs> hello good morning you on with 50 hey All right the second part when you <laughs> <laughs> 1877 pause show you on with 50 you got a question Hello, turn your radio down. Turn it down. Hello. You're here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm here. Okay. What's your question? Okay, my question is, he has, like, the perfect body. I just want to know, does he indulge in, like, just junk food? Just have, like, a herd day of junk food? Like, like your do diet. You, do you, you eat, eat junk, junk food because you have a nice body? Well, periodically I do. Like, I think everybody has, everything that's good for you doesn't taste good. That's true. Yeah. It's really, you got to discipline yourself at different points. I usually, you know, I had a personal trainer travel with me. It's the reason why I wrote Formula 50. I had books out mm-hmm. on it, you know, that the way I actually train when I get in this shape before I get out and go in front of everybody. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, in the off, like like even in, in sports, you got the off season with athletes aren't in the Chill a little bit, yeah. you know. I mean, if you want to prove to the world you still got it, we can take some pictures. Oh, my you know, God. You know what I can do? Somebody, I'll be ready. I'm going to be ready. I got a, a big show coming up in City Field, mm-hmm. and I'll be all the way right by then. I, I probably won't have clothes on at that. <laughs> oh, Whoa. okay. Wow. Right. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, 1877 yeah. Pause <laughs> Show. Hello, you on with 50. What's up? Hello. They Goodbye. Get, Next line. <laughs> 50 in here, intimidating Damn. people. Good morning. You got a question for 50 Cent? I do. What's How up? you doing? Good, good morning, 50. How are you? I'm fine. My question is, I know that you are a phenomenal artist, and I've seen you in a number of films. Will you um, take your acting career even further? Yeah, I actually I'm actually play a character on my, my new show on the Stars Network. 
It's called Power. Mari Harbert is the star of the actual show. And I played Kanan, a, a long time friend of his. So they'll get a chance to see me even do a piece there. And I, and I finished the film before the year was out with Bruce Willis. The, uh, wow. We you work, work together, yeah. You work with all the power dudes, don't you? <laughs> okay. That's not Big intimidating names. for you to hit the set and you got Bruce. And, well, and, I, I've been with the superheroes already. I've been with... De Niro, De Niro and Pacino. Yeah, goodness gracious. You know, so. He's like, it's nothing to me. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah, let's let's take one. Let's take one more. One more. One. Hey, you got a question for Fifty? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Mitch from VA. Hey, I just got one question. Give yeah, Richard Die Trying. Best album of my generation. I'm 24. Best album of my generation. Am I right? Would, oh, do I? Well, I like to think so. I mean, the numbers say so, and it, that's what they say. They say men lie, women lie, numbers don't, hey, right? <laughs> there you go. That's what's up. Okay. Keeping it real today. More with Fifty Cent always. coming up. Keep the Twitter questions coming in at Paul Shell. Right. Filling in for Russ for our morning show. It's going down, and I know this was one of the exciting Man. mornings, one mm-hmm. of the memorable moments. That's yeah. Exciting. I didn't even get a chance to press the bell. <laughs> I mean, you did just say rememberable. <laughs> rememberable. So you, you, you hit the bell right on for myself. <laughs> <laughs> for myself. But, but you know, because I got a chance to come down and hang out, and I really had a good time, so I'm looking to be the substitute teacher. There That's what's go. up. Right. Right. I'm feeling for us, Paul, every time. We, right. got you. we can we take got some lessons. We got your number. We're going to come in. I'm going to have Britt and Albert and everybody get down with me. <laughs> That's what's up. There hey, you go. just holler us the next video. We can act like, you know, we up in here in the studio. You going to put me in your video? On the radio. So to the actual joint right live from dc there you go <laughs> speaking of video what you got going on what's coming up oh uh, man i just put a joint out from the the third song off of this project actually is uh pilot yeah we just heard it and it, yeah we just played it and it's actually premiering it on vivo at 10 o'clock and, okay. it's, and it's actually gonna be that's less than 30 oh, it's, minutes it's actually right on I- itunes right now yeah so on itunes now yeah. and it's gonna premiere in less than 30 minutes from right now that's right that's right mm-hmm. So they can see the new music video on Vivo. That's what's up. And you said, what about you? You said you got four TV, four things Four television doing? shows, yep. I actually what? was up all night. I haven't been asleep because I was filming for the Power Show. It's okay. actually starring Amari Howard. It's in, in okay. New York City. It's a, a, that a sounds great, nice already. It's an exciting project. It's <laughs> Calm yourself. It is, man. And it, for me, it's, it's, it's been really cool because I've been working with Courtney Kemp on this project for two years. Mm-hmm. So we've been developing it and developing it. Mark Canton is a great producer. He just produced 300. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice yeah, right. yeah, work with me on this actual project and ran the limit. So it's cool. I got a, the right cast and the right people around me to make this show a huge success. So it's cool. It's not got the hookup. It's not got the hookup. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we smashed, yeah, though. Speaking, speaking of Master P, listen, look, I just seen a quote that, that P had for, um, he had to the interview somewhere, and he funded, he did fund, like, my first real Yeah, yeah so that was yeah, real. That, that was real. real. I, I was with you in 2003 when you performed with P. Yeah. He put the whole No Limit family on, then you, you came in. I was there, yeah. Listen, let me tell you something, look. Master P, like, I make a joke. I say things about, like, like the got the hook up thing, mm-hmm. because P understood he would do the same numbers whether he shot on a red camera or a camcorder. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so at some point, it's like that hustler in him made him use the camcorder. He like, forget and it. some of the quality kind of fell off of some of the right. joints that was there. Something. But without a doubt, if we want to question whether he can hustle and do he, do he actually got that thing that makes him special, it's there. Yeah, no question. He, he actually funded, he funded the tour. You know what he did? He stopped the tour. He stopped the tour and called me back after I sold like a million and a half record. Mm. Uh, he said, "You got it. Now. You got it now." How crazy was that? <laughs> wow! <laughs> he felt the energy coming. It was like, "Oh, I gotta run back. I gotta run back so we could just postpone the last two shows <laughs> and come back." <laughs> I came back. He called me after I already sold like 1.7 million records. Like, yo, so you think we could do those two two dates we had left? Uh, I'm like, no, sir. <laughs> He was hustling, but I said we did the show because I, I had the honor to deal that we oh, did. Oh, that's right, what's right, up. Right, that's you know. a fair guy, yeah. So that's what's up, man. We appreciate you yeah, coming yeah. out. Thank you so hey, much. Listen, hey, don't turn off the phone when we come exactly. calling because we yeah. will be calling you back in yeah. when Russ goes on vacation that's again. Right. All right, man. Thank All right, let's you. give it up for 50, y'all. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's up next.